Businesses continue to suffer amid the pandemic, and some may be struggling to keep up with the state's restrictions as they just keep on changing. Right, they've invested a lot of money to try to follow the rules and then shut down. Uh, San Diego Mayor Todd Gloria joins us now this morning with uh, more on the city's response. Good morning to you, Mayor. Good morning, Ned and Eric. It's good to have you on this morning. So one of your first moves as mayor was, you know, cracking down during the stay at home order, citing many businesses who are violating those rules. And, you know, so many businesses, as we know, are suffering right now. At this point, the stay at home order is lifted. What sort of help is currently on the way for those businesses? There's a lot, and I want to express my appreciation to the city council for uh, passing a numerous steps this week that I've proposed to help small businesses, probably the most important of which is a commercial uh, eviction moratorium. We know that many of these businesses are struggling to pay rent on their businesses, uh, their locations. Uh, and so we're putting in place uh, a moratorium to allow them to uh, work with their landlords in order to repay their rent uh, when uh, they can uh, can do so in the future. Uh, we are also working with our federal and state partners. I want to alert small businesses that the state's uh, second round of funding for its California Small Business Relief Grant programs opens on February 2nd. Uh, that's between five dollars and $25,000 of relief. And then my team and I are advocating strongly to the Biden administration to pass an additional round of relief uh, funding uh, that could assist businesses and the city who is also experiencing financial challenges. Uh, and then probably most interestingly um, was an executive order I issued this week um, around uh, third party apps, uh, food delivery apps that charge excessive fees. I think many folks think of that coming out of the pocket of the consumer. It also comes out of the pocket of the small business restaurant. Um, and so we've limited those in the city of San Diego. All of these are efforts to try and help small businesses, but I recognize nothing will replace being able to open fully. And that's why we have to defeat COVID-19. Yeah, so obviously the county back in the purple tier here, meaning restaurants can reopen for outdoor services. So is the city still cracking down on restaurants operating indoors or are they still getting citations? Well, I prefer to think of it as enforcing the law. Um, and you're right, we're in purple tier, which means that uh, restaurants can't operate outdoors, but they're not permitted to operate indoors. And, uh, you know, I'm the city's chief executive. I'm not a lawmaker. These rules come uh, from the county and state government, and increasingly the federal government, and we'll be in the position of enforcing the law. Now, I want to acknowledge, uh, Eric, the vast majority of businesses are complying, and I deeply appreciate that. Their compliance means that we will get control over this virus sooner rather than later, and that should be everyone's goal. That's how we get to reopening our economy fully, getting our kids back in school uh, and getting back with our lives. And, you know, just touching on this issue with our businesses, I mean, there's so many that have shut down, unfortunately. You as mayor right now taking this on and you go around town and see what's happened. Uh, what can you say to those employees, to those business owners at this point to give them any kind of hope? Well, there is reason for hope. You know, we are vaccinating thousands of San Diegans every day. We are seeing some of the important indicators from a public health data perspective uh, starting to fall, which is why we're going, uh, went back to the, the purple tier, removed the stay at home order. Uh, you know, there is tremendous reasons for hope. And Netta, the question is important because it comes from uh, transitioning from a public health response to an economic stimulus response. And so the city and under my administration, working with the city council, we're gonna continue finding ways that we can support small businesses like the eviction moratorium, like the cap on fees uh, for delivery apps, uh, in order to make sure that when we can start reopening our economy, the city is a full partner in doing so. And I think it's important for those businesses to hear from the mayor my deep appreciation, their sacrifices are helping us to get those numbers down, to get us to be able to reopen, to get us back to normalcy. we got to run, Mayor, but uh, you are doing this vaccine town hall on Monday, right? I am uh, with Council President uh, Jennifer Campbell and some health experts. I encourage everyone, if you have questions, uh, tune in. It's virtual. It's 5 p.m. You can find some information on our website. But most importantly, when it's your turn, please get vaccinated. Yeah. Uh, the vaccinations are safe. As soon as I'm eligible to get one, I will get one. But I ask every San Diegans, do your part, not just for yourself, but for all of us. We'll be there as you're rolling up your sleeve. We're Thanks, not Mayor. 65 and up quite yet. I'm <laughs> <All right. laughs> yeah, not there yet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Easy to go for you. All right. Thanks again, Mayor, for joining us this morning. Thank you both.